opened up private practice about 20, this year will be 25 years ago, uh, in Buffalo, in the inner city on the Lower West Side. And presently, I have locations on the Lower West Side and on the East Side, predominantly a large Latino and African-American population, servicing about 15,000 lives. Now, I've vaccinated almost 1,600 people. So, you know, what, what, you, what you get there, and a lot of black and brown population that we were able to vaccinate, people were scared. I mean, when I was given the shots, people, they, they were anxious, breathing, hyperventilating. And then once they got through that, they did fine. You had people that had allergies to, you know, they get allergy shots, they get allergies to everything. And we were able to vaccinate these individuals without complications. And I think it's important to understand that this vaccine has no virus in it. And I think people keep thinking the wrong way. This, is, this vaccine is basically a lipid covering of an amino acid with instructions. So it has to be kept cool. And once it, it gives, it, it's given as an injection, it goes into the muscle, not into the, the nucleus of that cell, but the cytoplasm. And when it's in there, there's the ribosome, these, these units that translate it and create the spike proteins, which is what these viruses, corona, have. And that's how they get into the system. When you do that, the body gets fooled into building a sort of response, what we call beta cells and T cells. And what that's important is, once you're vaccinated, you know, you pretty much, if you get exposed to this virus, your body's gonna attack it. My daughter that had COVID in March, when she got the first shot, she got sick. She felt fevers, muscle aches, that lasted for 24 to 48 hours. Motrin and, not, and Tylenol were enough to control it, and that was okay. For the individuals that didn't have COVID, they just had pain at the site, that was about it. Then when they got the follow-up on the Moderna 28 days or the Pfizer 21, what we told everybody is, now that we gave you that shot, just like if you had COVID, you develop these memory cells and they're gonna remember. So when you get the shot and they got the second shot, I said, you're gonna experience more fevers, muscle aches, tired, that's all gonna be pretty typical, but it only is gonna last for 24 to 48 hours and you're gonna do well.